Beardsley back to Barnes again. And Aldridge! A magnificent goal! Beardsley, Barnes, Aldridge, simply unstoppable. He won that back wonderfully well. Beardsley! Oh, a goal for Aldridge! Right on half time, it's John Aldridge. Barnes again. Houghton. Beardsley's... Oh, it's got in! Tommy Gaynor couldn't stop Aldridge getting in. Listen again. Inside to Houghton. Oh, to Ray Houghton. A little toe poke by him. And it's in there by Aldridge. Hello, Mr. Aldridge. How does lovely you, John? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Aldridge, well it's a bit formal. Sir, Sir, Sir Aldridge. Aldridge. Aldo. It's Aldo. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry, it's Aldo, mate. Yeah, Aldo, Aldo. John. <laughs> I've been called worse things, I tell you. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John, I'm joined with uh, Steve. Um, Steve, well, both of us lifelong Liverpool supporters. Yeah. Oh, well, we're blessed, aren't we? Yeah, it's definitely. We are indeed. We are indeed. <laughs> thank all our, our dads, mums, or granddads, whatever, for uh, believing us in the right prep, right path. Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, yeah. John, is it okay with you if we go through some of your highlights of your career? Like, for instance, yeah, 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 of course. The yeah. the Liverpool FC, the official survey, um, we're looking at the, the hundred players who shook the cup. You come in there as mm. a, a high n- number twenty six. Shocked? Yeah, I was shocked. I was, I was shaking the cup. I was shocked. <laughs> Uh, I think there could be a little bit of touch of bias there because uh, I'm, I'm a local lad. Uh, I'm a huge Liverpool fan. I dreamt the dream, uh, or lived the dream, sorry, um, what every young youngster in, in the city who sport Liverpool wanted to do. And I was one of the lucky ones. There's, there's, there's quite a few that done it, you know, like John Owen, Dave Fairclough, Sammy, you know, Terry Mack, uh, amongst many, many others. You know, Chris Lawler, Tommy Smith, well, there's loads, you know, but uh, I think I think we do get uh, a, little, a little bit biased towards our own. Yeah, I mean, you, you did pretty well, really, 26, and you're only at the club, really, two years, you know, and I think that's a pretty good accolade, really, isn't it, you know? Uh, yeah. uh, come on, it was 20-odd it, it was months, not two years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was brought in late January and left there. Uh, Mid September, two and a half years, whatever it be later. Uh, yeah, it was short, but I could only do what I was brought in to do, and that was score goals. And you know, I did that, and I'm very proud that I, you know, I, you know, scored sixty three and one hundred and four games. Uh, when I left, I was devastated. I was really devastated. I have to say, only my wife and my family know how, how much you know uh, it hurt me. Uh, I love the club. You know, getting in there and getting the golden boot and nearly getting two gold boots back to back. I thought that was more than enough to keep me at the club. There, there you go. Kenny didn't want me, um, for whatever reason it be. And, uh, you know, off you pop. Uh, to, 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 to the Basque people, who were great people and uh, I'm privileged and proud to play for them. You want to do the thing. Welcome back. In an exclusive interview for kickoff this afternoon, John Aldridge has been talking to Clive Tilsley about Liverpool's decision to let him go. John, if Liverpool and Real Sociedad can agree terms, what are you going to do? Well, um, obviously, uh, I'd speak with the with the Spanish team. You know, see what the score is on that. But it's never really been my desire to, to leave Liverpool. Uh, as you know, coming here two and a half years ago, it was my dream move of all time. And I've done fairly, fairly well since I've been here, but but now you know you don't, you don't seem to get the games. And I'm sitting on the bench and I seem to wasting a bit of my career away. It does seem as though Liverpool are prepared to sell you, though. Now, it looks that way. Yeah, obviously they've, they've talked terms with the um, Real Sociedad, um, so they must be prepared to let me go, which uh, is sad, really. Um, and the writing seems to be on the wall a bit. Are you surprised? Um, not really. Uh, I suppose it's good business from their point of view, you know, 30 going on 31. And to get a million pounds, whatever, for, the, for a player that age, you know, it, it's a lot of money. And uh, as you get older, you know, you devalue and that, so that's the way they must be looking at it. Strikers are supposed to be over the top at 31. Are you over the top? No, I've got a good couple of years left in myself, yeah. 
you have a hard time settling down over there, Joe? Um, well, it's, it's always going to be hard. You know, it's not like I'm leaving Liverpool to go to Leeds down the motorway or somewhere. It's, it's you know, it's another country, you know, and it's a proud part of Spain. Well, you can't you can't mention Spanish with the Basque people because they're all you know, a little bit like Ireland towards Great Britain. Um, great people. Um, yeah, just to get a little bit used to when, when it's, because Joe went back and I was there on my own for a bit. Um, and, and 70 or 80 percent didn't want me there anyway because I was the first non Basque player. Um, so I was opening another door for the club. So there was a lot of pressure on me, which, which I was aware of, but not as much as not, I didn't think as much as when I realized when I got there. You know, the, um, the press. Uh, the press release when I, when I got there, wow, jeez, I couldn't believe how many people were there. And then I went to the training ground, it was all graffiti, and I couldn't speak Spanish at that time. I didn't know what I said, thankfully, because it all basically was all Aldridge, piss off, we don't want you type of thing. So, so yeah, <laughs> but I can, I can well understand it, you know, because I, I, I know about politics over, over in Ireland, it's very similar to what happened there. Uh, and I, and I, or I, I respect them for that. But all I could do is just play as best I can, work, work really hard and score goals. And then the first two meaningful goals I scored was against Barcelona at home, uh, which uh, we drew 2-2. And, and after that, it was, it was playing sailing. Yeah, I mean, it must have been... Um, I mean, that was great to score the goals against Barcelona. Obviously, you, they, they took it into their arms then at Real Sociedad, but it must have been a massive tug. As you said, you never wanted to leave Liverpool, but it must have been a massive tug when you scored that penalty in the 9-0 defeat of Palace, and that was your last game when you were away. I mean, oh, I was gutted, you know, and I'm sure you yeah. you, you were worse, obviously. <laughs> yeah, do I mean, you know what? People keep on going to that moment. And I have to say, it was scan consolation. I just wanted to score my last goal in front of the cop. To make sure I didn't miss it. The game was over. There's no pressure on me whatsoever. Uh, so, so yeah. Uh, but what took me aback was at the end of the game, when you know all the cop and ground stayed back and, and they were singing my name. It's one of the most um, emotional moments of my life. You know, I'm amongst few really. You know, when I ran off that pitch and that last time I couldn't play for me beloved team. Uh, and it was really, really emotional. Yeah. So, uh, threw my shirt in the crowd. I didn't know what to do, to be honest. Threw me, threw me boots in and he threw them back at me. So, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was lovely, you know, that they showed me so much respect because I'm just, I'm just, I was just one of them. I got lucky, you know. Um, so, so yeah, yeah, it was. But they have to move on then. Uh, uh, the day after, they have to realise it's all gone and just move on then. Mm. A few good early touches, and I think most of the Everton lads have had a good touch early on, which will help them. This is Nickel looking for McMahon. Good through ball. He got away from Ratcliffe. Oh, and John Aldridge in a great position, and Liverpool have scored in their first attack. And John Aldridge. The man who missed a penalty here last season in the cup final didn't take long to make up for it. The ball played through was for McMahon and it caught Everton. Ratcliffe was out manoeuvred there. The ball into Aldridge was superb and his finish was clinical. Yeah, yeah. Oh, part of your record, uh, you scored 10 games in a row and that record was held with Van Nistelrooy, I think. Until Jamie Vardy broke it, what, 2015, I think? But it, it's not, it doesn't get that much publicity, the sort of pre premiership records and know. like that 10 game run of scoring goals. You spot on. You know, it's as if the, the, the top tier died yeah. in the early yeah, 90s. Yeah. It just yeah. died. Yeah. Forget about that. That means nothing. You know, it's, it's you know, it's all this guy yeah. stuff and whatever, you know. And that, that really, really. And not just me, many other players who they, 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 they like like forgotten, you know, that that's gone. It's you know. But uh, but it's never without doubt we wouldn't be here talking about football now without you know the the the, the late eighteen hundreds and, 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 and you know the early nineteen hundreds and whatever. Football's football. Yeah. It's down in the book, it's down in the book. First yeah. division's the first division. End the story. You can call it what you want, 
Mm. No, but there should be a, there should be actually a name that that puts it all in one. Mm. You know, Premier League. When you talk about records and things like that in football, it should be something. You know, in, in one basket. You know, not, not just the, the Premiership. You know, Premiership first division. I don't know, but, but that that does that, that does pierce old old fellas off. Yeah. Yeah, you're still a league footballers at the end of the day, all of you, whatever it could call it. Absolutely. It's the Premier League, Premiership, First Division, or whatever. Yeah. Absolutely. It, you know, it should, it should be put in one basket when you're talking about football in general. But no, it's just, you know, it's just Sky promotes it all the time in the way that they want and, and other, other sounds as well. Yeah. yeah. You know, the, the fact that, the fact that, like, you know, I, I love breaking records. I, I was goal hungry. I was just, it was just in my blood. And, and I beat Jimmy Green's record, 474, 474, six goals, whatever it be. Jimmy got 468, albeit Jimmy's were all in the top tier. Um, and I have to say, that does not get to me. That If, if, I, if I possibly lived in London, uh, or maybe play for uh, say whatever it was, that'd be all over the, all over the place. Mm. I just get over there, you know. But, it, you know, I know it's there. Other people know it's there, and it's nice that I've broke that record. But it's just not as though it's 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 nowhere. It's not there. It just it doesn't matter, you know. Yeah. yeah, it's one of them. It's in the back of your head all the time, and it's not clever life. But just moving away from football, John, in back in uh, two thousand and six, um, you gained. Uh, well, you were a bit of a media celebrity in Ireland, and you appeared on that charity You're a Star competition, doing a bit oh, of singing. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, tell us a little bit about that because I think you won that competition, didn't you? I don't know how because I had the worst voice out of everyone, and I did. <laughs> well, that's the truth. I, I used, I used, to, I, I, obviously, when you, you've been in football, you, you got the opportunity to make money, you know, for various charities, and I'm, uh, I'm humbled to, to be to be in a, that position over over the years, and I've raised quite a lot of money over in Portugal doing my own golf, blah blah blah, and other things about those and. Uh, but but I, I, I used to raise money for Temple Street Hospital in Dublin. I got this phone call this day saying they want me to do a singing competition. So straight away I went, don't be stupid. I can't sing. <laughs> if I could sing, I'd help you out. Um, so anyway, she kept on bombarding me and bombarding me. And to be fair, she told me when it was and I thought, you know what? She's doing me head then. I'll, I'll I'll do it. I'll get I'll get voted off because Louis Walsh it was like it was like, like the one over here. He had the, the panel with all you know the people who knew what they were talking about. And um, but I didn't know I, I really because I, I didn't see RTA. I didn't know what it was all about. So because a long story short, I went over there. There's I don't know uh, twelve or fourteen celebrities. You know you get knocked out every night. It's live on television. I didn't know nothing. None of this. On, on, on like four times a week, and it's massive. Everyone watches it. Um, so all of a sudden, I've gone, whoa, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. So the first night, I was absolutely sure. Oh, you weren't allowed to drink beforehand, but I was sure. I, I made sure that I had a, a big glass of wine because I was shaking. I went on live. You're live on television. You've got to remember the words. To, I wasn't a singer. <laughs> anyway. Ah, one of the songs I, I forgot the words. Bring a fire, bring a fire, and I'm going fuck the words. I'm going. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you kept on keeping me in. Every time you're waiting, the like, spotlights on you. I'm thinking, oh please get me out, please get me out. But he didn't, and the, I ended up winning only because of anyone who played with Jack Charles would have won that anyway. I, you know, I was just the way it was. People loved. Team on the jacket, but I look back on it fondly because I, I raised it about two hundred grand for the wow. kids. And when you go in the uh, when you do go in the, in, in the hospital, uh, it's it's very very humble. You know, it's it brings you it brings you to tears. You know, if you go to any kids' hospital, you see what I love kids. Oh, God, jeez, you know, you do anything for twelve kids, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah. So I didn't get a penny. You know, I just got me the the uh, thing pay for hotel and whatever flights and whatever. I didn't get a penny, and they maybe got a couple of couple of beers on the house. But it, you know, I walked away from that. And that's one of those, one of the greatest things I've ever done in my life because I'm always out of my comfort zone. Hmm. Yeah. John, was it was it a big deal for you to sign for or to decide to play for Ireland? 
rather than England. Was Jack oh. Charlton, was he a big influence on that? Yeah. We met Jack um, when we played semi-final against Villa uh, in, the, in the, the Carabao Cup. It was the Milk Cup at the time. Oxford oh, United. Yeah. Was that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we, we drew to all of Villa Park and I got the two goals and he was there. He just got the Ireland job and he approached me. So, you know, he said, you know, do you want to play for me? I said, absolutely. I'd love to play for you. I'd be honoured to play for the Republic. But I knew about me and me, me mum's side in Ireland. You know, I knew about that. The Irish influence within my mum's family. So, um, so I said, yeah. But the one thing you didn't know about Ray Alton was, was Irish. And I said, do you know Ray Alton over there? He said, he played well, didn't he? He said, yeah. His dad's from Donegal. So he marched over to Ray and got in at the same time. <laughs> 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 that. Brilliant. And, 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 you know, that, that was one of the greatest things that ever happened. Joe, I was you played for Liverpool. That was, you know, that was unbelievable. But I played for Alma as a godsend. You know, my grand me now, you know, all in one must have been looking over me or whatever and led me, helped me lead me in that path because of the tenor, the best years was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Money can't buy that. You, know, you talk about what money these players are on this day and age. What we played on was worth a million pounds a week. It was just to be to be associated with, with the Irish people and, and get treated in the manner which we did. And we still do. Is is wow. Talk about humbling again. Fantastic. What a great country, great people. Brilliant. Brilliant. So talking about the players of today's era and the wages they're on and all that. How good would you say you would be in today's team? Or where do you reckon you're getting Klopp's team now if you were in it? <laughs> I haven't got a clue. I don't know. Whether... Technically, I don't think I'm good enough to get him in, in Klopp's team, but I'd score 30 goals a season for him. That's not a problem. <laughs> with, 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 them, with them crosses coming in from Trent and Robbo, I'd, I'd score a ridiculous amount of goals. The same. Mind you, I, I, I was blessed. I'm not talking about them too. I had Barnsley and, um, and Ray Alton. And Peter B. Wow, that 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 was amazing. But you know, so you, you look at Club Club scene, and I don't know what in the present hypothetical what we like, like some of those players would be worth, be valued. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> John, you work now with the Radio City, don't you? You know, doing the, the away and the home games. Um, the support, no, I've stopped, stopped that. Have you stopped it? Oh, no, right. oh, okay. Radio, Radio City was there. They put a plug on that, and um, God, there's a about three years ago now. Yeah, it was good years years ago. Yeah, 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 good yeah. feature, yeah. So now uh, I, I do a lot of, I love doing the commentary because yeah. I do get carried away because I'm, I'm a fan. Yeah. Uh, a 63 year old idiot at times, but uh, it's just, <laughs> just, it's just in my blood. Uh, so I do a lot of commentaries for LFC TV now. Uh, uh, and then, you know, I, I do other various things, you know, within the media. Uh, so, so yeah, it's great. And especially in Ireland, I love keeping in contact with with that on the way, put a couple of papers out there. Yeah, it's super. Well, what's the best game you've been to in the past couple of years? I can have a guess what you're going to say, but... Oh, Barcelona. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Barcelona. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Barcelona. Got to be, yeah. Oh, Barcelona was amazing. Mm. You know, the, the fact that Salah wasn't playing, mm. Manny wasn't playing, and we, we need to keep a clean sheet and score four goals. It was, it was basically impossible. Yeah. It was basically impossible with the team they had at the time. Mm. And we did, it's just, ah, oh, God. That was it was right up there with Istanbul. Hmm. Yeah, I, I, you, uh, I'm managing. I'm managing Trammy when we three 0 down against Southampton and went on four three. Oh yeah, that was nice. Yeah. Oh oh, I, I, I'm I'm taking taking Trammy to Goodison Park in the FA Cup and beating him three 0 Yeah, that wasn't bad either. <laughs> yeah, a, definitely a couple of good ones there. Yeah, I remember the time you won with Southampton very well. Yeah, that was uh, something else, wasn't it? Uh, so out of all them, that well, not just them. Who did? Who was your favourite team you to play against? I mean, you mentioned Barca when you played when you went to Sociedad. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I think it may have been somebody at Tram. You know, don't know. Do you know you always get favourite teams that you 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 you, you, you sometimes score against? Um, are you still there? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You still hear me? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Like, for whatever reason, like, I used to always score against like a Forest, New, not not so good Forest, Derby, uh, Wolves, West Brom, and I'll just throw this one in lightly. Barcelona. I think, <laughs> I think goals per game record 
it has to be Barcelona because I played against them six times and I scored eight goals in six games. Oh. Against them, oh. which was yeah, and six of them came at the Camp Nou. We never got beat. Uh, scored. We drew two two. I scored two. We drew three three. I scored two. And we this one was brilliant because we I just scored the winner the week before against Atletico Madrid at home, which won Barcelona the league. So the following week we went to Barcelona, and. Um, and, and they got we clapped them on the pitch when they got La Liga in front of 110,000 people. Oh, and we beat oh. them 3 1 and I got another two. So <laughs> that was something else, by the way. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, you, you, you do get like favorite teams, you, you do get and score the goals against. It's mad that. It's mad. Mm. Yeah. John, I've read somewhere that um, the news of the world, they, they were hacking your phone back, what, 15 years ago? Is that, is that true? You know what? Do you know what? They don't for that. It's funny you should say. It's funny you should say that. I, I found. I can't remember. I, I remember something. I know you bring that back in me. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, but I did get someone on the case. But for, 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 I, think I, got, I got nothing. Um, and, and I do actually forget. I do actually forget what what happened there. Um, yeah. But did, but did, someone sent me a link or something. But they would do it. Do it. Do it. They don't look at my phone. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you still get loads of stick off uh, Man United supporters on Twitter, John, and um, well, social media in general. They're still at it. Oh, yeah. They eased off uh, now. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're just jealous of our club, aren't they? Yeah. 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 No, to be honest, you say anything on Twitter and you get these key boy worries, you don't even see the face. The only. The ones who do it, you don't even see the face. Mm. You just they put something, you know, they put something. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 something like yeah. that. Yeah. Don't talk yeah. about cats the same. I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, no, they, but they, they're, so they're, they're cowards. They're just, they're just cowards, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, but you know, we're, we're after the game, if I say something, I, I, I say things a little bit sarcastic at times about away support, the way they come and support the teams. You know, it's supposed to come to Anfield, the best stadium in the world uh, for atmosphere and, and spiritually. Yeah. You know, and, and all the all they sing about is Liverpool and the fans and, and everything. They don't even sing about their own about their own team. They don't even get behind. They come to have a day out of slagging Liverpool. I'm going, what's what's that all about? Yeah. How sad is that? So I'll have a little um, pop at them, like trying to tell them what it's all about. Come and enjoy the day out. Yeah, you know, there you go. Like call the fans, you you know, every, every day, get your money and then off you pop back to Wales. Away, right, see you go. You know you've had you've had your day out. You know <laughs> it's, uh, it that saddens me to see that it really does because you sh- you go to football grounds. You can have a bit. Hey, banter's all right. Banter's good. You're not saying back, but the way the way they, they, they speak about our city and and the, the, anyone and going to that that really that pays me off as well. Mm. But, but yeah. Yeah, no. What was the, what was the question again? Oh, we're getting, question. getting stick on Twitter. It's one of the best tweets I've seen, John. I think um, someone might have retweeted it. I think you put it up. It was the milestones for Liverpool scorers. Number one, Jock Smith. Uh, works to oh, the yeah. of Daddy Chambers, Jack Barman, my uncle, Jimmy Melia, 4,000 goal. Yeah, yeah, in, yeah. In yeah St. John, that. Terry Mack, and then yours at 7,000. That, yeah, that's some yeah, statistics, yeah. that. That's great. I only got. I, I only get. To, I, I, I love anything that puts my name in, in, in life in Liverpool Football Club. You know. It, you know that that's that's there. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. People, it'll always be there for people to see. You know, and uh, yeah, there, there's a few things I've done for Liverpool, and I like goals per game ratio. Whenever Mo Salah's is shown, I'm just underneath with Roger Hunt and I think Jack Barman might be in there. You know, there. Yeah. and it's it's great to see that. I, I'm so proud, you know, because it's my team, and I like people to know. Actually, what I've done for them, you know, mm. it's such a short period of time. Yeah, 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 yeah. What was the best game you reckon you played in, John, <laughs> at Liverpool? Well, there was so, so many meaningful games. The, 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 the yeah. best performance was probably beating Forest five 0 that night. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They, they were they were second in the yeah. league. They were second in the league to put it, you know, bluntly, and and it could have been ten 0 we absolutely, you know, and the first five, ten minutes we weren't at it, and then all of a sudden we just clicked mm. and we just, yeah, we just, we just, you know, tore them apart. Mm. That, that was brilliant to watch, it really was. That was, yeah, it. It was just a joy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it sticks in your memory, that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. John, who, who was your favourite player? Did you have like a hero as a kid, you know, watching the Liverpool players? Oh, yeah. Who yeah. was it? 
Yeah, yeah. Jimmy Melia. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Thanks for that, John. Hey, now, you know, Jimmy, I was, I've seen Jimmy playing that. That's it. Now, my man was always uh, Roger. Yeah, thought so. Yeah, I loved him. Yeah, I lo- all that team, you know, that that team and the squad of, of that. That um... hold on, someone's just leaving something at the door. Yeah, sure. Uh, Do you need to go, John? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm alright another couple of minutes. It's okay. All right, all right. Uh, all right. Yeah, yeah, you know that 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 team, and I know that team off by heart. The squad mm. that Jimmy was involved in. Yeah. Um, yeah, I loved them. I loved them. They, you know they, they introduced me to watching football. Mm. Uh, from the paddock early, early mid sixties it was Southampton. Mm. Uh, I think Al Farris Smith played that day, funny enough as well. And mm. um, so, so yeah, I, I love, I love Roger Run, and I've got to meet, meet him. Uh, what a gentleman! What a more humble, fantastic. They say never meet your heroes. Yeah. Well, I did, and, and you know the only hero that I never really met was was, was Shanks. And I'd love to meet uh-huh. Shanks, but obviously yeah. I never did. Yeah. The, the Sir Roger, well, surpassed that. Mm. Brilliant, brilliant. Uh, I, I had me day. Yeah. I, I, I looked at Manny Starling, and I, I got in the last six uh, when Brian Kerr got the got the job, and and I didn't get. It. I thought that would, that would have been my time. I, th- I don't know how to do, but uh, that would have been nice. But no, I'm I'm yeah. quite happy now. Yeah, yeah, quite happy. Good. I enjoy. Yeah. Only stint to try, try me five years. Great, it's great. It's a great club. You know, it's still very close in the arts, obviously, as, as all the ex teams are. Um, I went there the other week to watch them play against Rochdale, which, which, which was nice. And I did pop around there, you know, sporadically. But yeah, no, absolutely. Mm. John, I'm aware of the time. I know you. You've got to you've got to be elsewhere, I'm assuming. Can I just ask a, a sort of fantasy yeah. league type of question, if you don't mind? So going back, if you're manager of Tranmere and you had a choice of three current Liverpool players to go in that Tranmere team, who would you have? Um, the team that's playing now. Yeah, yeah. For Liverpool, or for anyone, they'll go go back from all time. From you know, you've had your choice. Oh. Bit, bit of fantasy, like, but. Well, Steve Gerrard again. Anyone yeah, seen? Wouldn't he? Yeah. Steve, Steve Gerrard, Sir Roger. I'd say Kenny Dalvis, but Kenny got rid of me, so he's on the equation. <laughs> uh, yeah. And Kevin Keegan. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I loved him, by the way. Oh, mm. Keegan. When I used to go home and away, that team was a great team as well. Mm. Keegan was amazing. What a yeah. what an amazing player. Mm. But I always go, you know, but before I go, I'll, my old time Liverpool team would be something like, Clemming goal. Mm. Right back would have to be Phil Neal, mm. most decorated player. Left back would be Emily News. Uh, two two centre backs would be Van Dijk and Hansen. Mm. Two midfield players, it's 4 4 2, by the way. The two midfield players would be Steve Gerrard and Graeme Souness. Mm. Left wing, John Barnes. Mm. Right wing, Kevin Keegan. Up front, that would Nation Roger Runt. That would be my, my dream wow. team. Oh, imagine that. That was something to bother yeah. that. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I feel a bit speechless now. <laughs> just, yeah, that's, that's a pretty good team, that. isn't it? Yeah, just a bit. So, yeah. I think that could be some damage. Player you, yeah, who's the best player you played with then? Would you say? Uh, or Barnsley. Barnsley, yeah. yeah. Without doubt. Yeah, without doubt. Yeah, yeah, brilliant, amazing. And what about rivals? Who's who's the one you hated playing against? Then? <laughs> Brazy, 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 and uh, big Paul McGrath as well. Paul was oh, right. such, such a great player. Yeah, 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 absolutely. He had terrible injuries. Then he on his knees. Then he, 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 he didn't have to go training. Did he? he just just turn up for the match? Paul McGrath. Yeah, uh, he couldn't train. He couldn't train. Just a bike wear. Yeah. And, and, and you know what? What else, uh, lads? He, he was alcoholic. There's oh, a yeah. book that you should. You okay. like reading books? Yeah, read this it. book was called "Back from the Brink." Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, really? Cool. Very good book. Brilliant book, in fact. Brutally honest on there, isn't he? You know about what he. You know, have, have a drink first thing in the morning, and looking for the rest of it. And, and what he had to go through, obviously, a little bit of racism early on, and things happened in Ireland when he was on his own. Mm. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a great book. Yeah. Powerful. 
Yeah. Uh, you were uh, in for the in for the day now. Are you going the game tonight, John? Or... Yeah, I'm working the game. Yeah, just, just I've got to um, I've got a couple of things to do now, um, and then I'll, I'll be off to the game about quarter five. Just do a so bit of work for the uh, club. Yeah, you with Steve Oversall or um, see Steve tonight? You to... Sorry. No, 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 no. Um, Steve works in the lounge where I go tonight, so I'll see Steve. You know, obviously doing the commentary now for the game, Radio City. So, uh, so yeah, I always look forward to seeing Steve. We're, we're, we're good mates. And then do, do me a bit of hospitality before the game and sit, make sure that Ian Callum, Callie's my mates, I make sure he sits next to me in every game. You know, just <laughs> to, to look. I've tried to look after him, you know, tell him, you see, I love him. He's such a, talk about the general, talk about that team going back. Yeah. I, I, Cal, Callie is an absolute. Absolute! Oh, what a legend! What a man! What a gentleman! What a lovely, lovely bloke! So I always make sure that we have a, we have a little bit tight to eat before the game, and mm. I say, "Come sit next to me, Cali. We we always win when you sit next. We always win anyway. It's just my excuse to get to sit next to me." Yeah, yeah he's he's a lovely yeah. fella. He is really lovely fella, isn't he? Super. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Oh, well, John, sorry, I keep calling you John, don't I? You saw me call you Aldo. Aldo. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I do Ah, oh, sad. Yeah. Listen, it's brilliant. I really, thank you very much. It's, it's been a delight chatting with you. It has. All right, mate. Pleasure. Pleasure, lads. Have All a right, good day. Yeah. And if, if, uh, you take care. All, All right. the very best. Yeah. And you, John, let's uh, look forward to three points tonight. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> Absolutely, lads. You'll never walk alone. Take care. Damn right. All right, yeah. nice one, John. Cheers. Thanks, later. John.